Hello everyone, it's Patrick from the Magnetic Nerd Federation once again, and it's time for another episode of Printing with Pat. But first off, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who participated in our giveaway. It was a lot of fun for us here, and we enjoyed it quite a bit, and there will be more giveaways like this in the future. And now, on to the next print. So, this one's going to need a little bit of a backstory, just so you all can kind of gather how epic of a project this was for me to do. I think the best way to kick this whole thing off is just with a little bit of a confession. I may, or may not, uh, be slightly addicted to Transformers. Tiny addiction may be a bit of an understatement. I am pretty much obsessed with Transformers. I have been collecting toys and merchandise since the 80s when the first cartoon show came on the air. So when I was searching for my next file to do and I came across this one, now you all know why I'm really, really, really excited about it. So without further ado, the next Printing with Pat project is Laserbeak. So roll the intro. <laughs> Laserbeak has been by far the most tedious project I've undertaken. There are a lot of parts, they're big and small, there was even a little bit of assembly involved. Overall it took about 35 hours to print. The body by far was the longest, that was about a 14-15 hour print time. I used kind of a combination of 3D Solutex black and silver filament along with some Matter Hackers black filament as well. This was another model where I didn't feel it was insanely necessary to go crazy with sanding. Being a child of the 80s, I feel the layer lines on the, on the print actually made it look more like a tape, so I decided to leave those in. It uh, didn't really get much more other than a filler primer and just a light sanding. The only parts that I did sand completely smooth were the thrusters on the top. They actually were printed in four separate pieces, so they had to get glued together and then had to fill, fill those seams in. And once I sanded the pieces level and smooth, they got coated with a filler primer, which then again got sanded just to make sure it was nice and smooth and level and you couldn't see any lines on it. After all the priming, sanding, and filling were done, I used a mirror chrome spray paint to ensure the thrusters were silver and shiny. As for the rest of the body, it was pretty easy. Like I said before, I didn't want to sand away those layer lines, so it just got primed using a filler primer. I sanded it really lightly just to kind of take off that rough edge, and then it got coated with a base coat of black paint. Then went through and started painting on all the different colors you see on it, uh, the silvers, the reds. touch was to dry brush on a metalizer. And once I was happy with all the little details on it, it got clear coated and then it was on to assembly. Once I began to assemble Laserbeak, I noticed that the little pins that held the different joints in place weren't exactly the right size. So instead of trying to f mess around with reprinting them from the file I got offline, I took to Fusion 360 and actually designed and printed my own parts to fit the model. And I know some of you may think, well that's no big deal, but for somebody who's never really had any experience before with 3D models or 3D modeling, this was a huge step for me and I felt I learned a lot. I mean, even, even something as simple as a cylinder, it, I felt that it, it helped, it's going to help me in the future. And that's one of the really cool things about 3D printing and 3D modeling is that the learning never stops. There's always some room for growth. So once my, my design parts came off the printer, I slid them into where they needed to go and the print was finished.
now have the most reliable Decepticon available to do my bidding. I am super happy with the way this turned out and I actually plan on printing another round to print Buzzsaw because Laserbeak needs a friend, right? <laughs> I almost forgot, the coolest part about this 3D print, it transforms. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, you know the usual stuff. I will see you next time.